Ash here coming at you today with Ken, aka Hollow, aka KFC, aka KFC Clash. What's up, Ken? How you doing, man? Oh God, the intros just scare me, man. It's so much pressure. How can oh, yeah. I? How can I live up to that? Yeah, because it's like chill off camera. We're just like talking, and then I'm like, "Hey guys, what's going on?" And you're like, "Oh yeah, my yeah. God!" Yeah, it's like you're I was like, just smoking some heroin <laughs> with the boys, beating some kids <laughs> up in the orphanage, and I was like, "Hey guys, welcome back to some." <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to some. <laughs> Well, I got a lot of questions for you, bro. I'm just going to get into it. I think everybody knows who you are. I think the last time that we had you on was probably like, I don't know, we we're kind of joking about it off, off mic, but maybe like a, a uh, talking about Clash Royale, like in a broken podcast about balance changes <laughs> yeah. uh, or like the state of Expo or something years and years ago. I have no idea. But either way, you the are returning. Days, yes, man. the good old days. The good old days. We're not here. To, we'll talk a little bit of Clash today, like a little the state of the game or whatever. But I just want to start. I have so many questions for you, man. I've known you for a long time now. I've seen you, you know, through a lot of parts of your journey that I don't think everybody knows about. And I'm sure there's a lot that I don't know about. I want to kind of get into it here. And I want to start with uh, Hollow, right? Well, let's just start with your two channels. You have KFC Clash. You've been going at that for, let's see. Well, you deleted all your old videos. I just want to say, Ash, what you were saying, yeah. you're like a mother to me, man. Like Thank you've you. been there since Thank the you. beginning. My little, my little fella, <laughs> my little boy. My little boy's all grown up. Uh, we got yeah. KFC Clash, you deleted all your old videos. I don't know why, I guess for SEO or whatever. Uh, but you deleted all your old videos. You've been doing this for probably, what, what? Like six or seven years now on this channel? Six Way years? Too Five? Long, man. Yeah, okay. Then you got Ken. You just had 100,000 subscribers on Ken, which is your yeah. new channel. Yep. Congratulations. Your new channel where you upload basically daily Clash Royale. Okay. Uh, and then, and Plants vs. Zombies, kind of. Uh, okay. And then Woo! we got... And then, EVZ. This is my first question for you, man. You have this... <laughs> this is the crazy thing. You don't even know this, or maybe you do. I have no idea. But this channel, Hollow... You, Hollow did a face reveal, and it's you, right? It's you saying, mm -hmm. actually, everybody should go watch this video because it's one of my favorite videos. I, I, I really, really, really love Havoc. Uh, and you have like, I don't know if it's, <laughs> so I, don't know I, if it's I don't know if it's real or manufactured, but you guys have this grudge and, and it all comes to this channel basically saying that I can do what you do, Havoc, in the same style. Long story short, but you guys should go check out the video because it's, it's amazing. Uh, and you are Hollow, according to this video. You are Hollow. Furthermore, I would direct people to this video. I made a secret YouTube channel to prove it's not luck on your Ken God, channel. This is just free shout outs galore. Guys, I know, just dude. subscribe right now. Just no big buckets. deal. I know you need the views. I know from me. So I'm, I'm doing everything I can Thank little, you, to my, for my <laughs> son so here. Much. So, dude, I got to start with the Hollow thing, man. I try to. So you're a part of AMG. You've been part of AMG for a couple of years or whatever. And you know that like we represent talent or whatever agency side. It's not meant to be a, an ad for AMG, but we reached out to how I reached out to hollow. And I'm like, Hey bro, we'd love to work with you. I, I tried to recruit this channel. <laughs> that was you apparently. Uh, right. First off, man, this is no BS. You made all these videos. There's somebody else talking. You hired a voice actor or what's the deal? Look, man, I pretty much said it all in the video. Everything you need to know is you in didn't there. Say, I don't wanna, no, no, no. You just say. I don't want to leave it. too many crumbs around, man. <laughs> okay. True or false. You, you're not even going to give me that. True or false. You made or you owned this channel for over a year. Who knows? Yeah. I don't know. You guys can be the judge. You guys can <laughs> no, be okay, the judge. All I'm going to say is. All I'm going to say is, why yeah. would I have made two videos saying I created a secret YouTube channel, made a video face revealing on that channel, all for me not to own the channel and it not be my channel at all? You know, why would I? And why? Well, look, the Havoc rivalry, it all makes sense. Yes, it does. I believe, I believe that uh, you have control over the channel right now. I believe that. And I want to believe, I want to say like Damn. right now, I want to say like 90%, 80%, maybe I believe you, 80, 90. But... I mean, you hired the same voice actor for over a year. 325 gold chests. So, getting a legendary... It, you know Just what? trying to make some bands, man. To, Let to me be, eat, man. Let to, me put hey. some food on the table. I got a family be, of six that I need to feed. To be fair, it does seem like a a voice actor that you hired on Fiverr. You know, the guy talking. I would never go to such a stoop so low, man. Look, this is my cousin. Okay. He lives in Nigeria. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay. So you have three. Now, are you going to... A question here. Are you going to still upload on Hollow? Who knows? <laughs> Okay, so maybe, now you have, maybe if it makes sense, man. If it makes sense, it, it seems like it makes sense by the views, bro. Uh, question: Do you you have three YouTube channels? KFC Clash, uh, last upload there was a month ago. You have Ken, which is basically daily. Uh, they just banned your mini account, 
which is another side drama about, which we can save for another video. They changed the name, man. They, <laughs> they changed they changed your name from Meth Head to them. something else. And Clasher, they banned your man. account. They, so turned, they lobotomized they lobotomized Meth Head, man. They turned him into a fucking NPC. You guys can follow the drama, but basically he, changed, he had his name uh, on his mini account as Meth Head, and they banned the account. They changed his name to Clasher. They banned the account. They crossed the line. You can follow the drama. But now you have three <laughs> channels. You have three channels on Clash Royale. Uh... But I remember talking to you years ago and you're like, I just don't know if I want to do Clash Royale. Uh, and here you are now with three channels, allegedly, on Clash Royale. What do you think of Clash Royale uh, as a content creator who has three YouTube channels on it? Listen, man, Clash Royale is the greatest game ever made. It's clearly in the best state it's ever been in. Supercell are doing nothing but dropping bangers right now. I love the monetization. I love the fact that I can go to the shop and I can buy value after value offer after offer. But realistically... You don't need me to tell you that it's dog shit right now, man. You don't need me to say it. <laughs> I, I want, dude, you're the guy uploading on three channels every day on the game. So and yeah, look, I wanted man, to. PVZ, PVZ. And look at the other channel. Hello. What's the video before it? Why? Why did you decide to cover Clash Royale on the Ken channel? Why did you decide? Just because it's what you know. It's the community that you're already aware of. Like, why did you make another channel to cover Clash Royale when you already had a channel to cover Clash Royale? Well, the videos on that channel are so much more edited, man. I just yeah. wanted a place to kick back, sit back. Can I swear on this channel, by the yeah, way? I've been swearing can, throughout this. You can swear. You can swear. All right. Yeah. All right. Take Ash's code away. Just kidding. Um, I actually use your code, man. Shout out. Oh, thanks, but um, man. I don't know. I just um, I just wanted a place to, you know, fuck around, see what happened. I, you know, I started with Clash because that's what people know. That's what they love. I'm still doing Clash because that's all I knew I wanted to do. There's no like one. I don't play any one game in particular. You know, I'm yeah. not that guy who's like really into variety games or into like one specific game besides clash like that's all i've played so i just figured i would upload clash and then we'll see what happens you know then i naturally just started the whole drama so i started covering that and um obviously i just started talking about things in my life because i was just i just thought it would be interesting and see how that worked and it worked and yeah it's kind of just going with the flow seeing what works and having yeah. fun basically i think that's the number one thing is your passion fun. is it fair to say your passion is mostly like YouTube or games or Clash Royale or is it a is it a blend? Like what what do you most associate yourself with? YouTube. YouTube. Hundred percent. No. Same. Level fifteen, man. I love level fifteen. <laughs> Clash Royale. <laughs> hey man, you said you're a one game guy. I uh, I totally agree with the, the yeah. sentiment on YouTube. Obviously, you've you know you've made three successful channels, two and a half maybe, right? So what do you attribute your success <laughs> to? What do you what do you attribute your success towards, man? Like, why do you think that you're popping off on another channel? Is it your personality? I think it's your personality uh, a lot, you know? Uh, why? Why do you think you're getting 150, 200, 300K views per video when now you're not even putting the edits? You're not even putting necessarily all that thought that you used to in every single video. Why, why do you attribute it to? I just think besides my good looks, I think it's got to be just the drama, man. I don't know. I feel like, I think people are, people kind of, they like the vibe, man. They like the vibe of the channel. Yeah. I don't think you need edits. Like it's just, and whatever's entertaining, you know, people yeah. just, they're liking it. I'm just being myself. I'm trying to be entertaining. I'm having fun. I think people can sense that. And they like to, they like to hang around. They're like, all right. I'll watch another video. Okay. You know what? PVZ, we're probably not going to watch that because it's every time I upload it, it's a 10 out of 10. But everything else, it's Clash. We love it. Clash, Clash, Clash. But yeah, I don't know. It's well, you went um, in, in this video. Again, people can go ahead and watch it for the full breakdown. But you actually break down. I really like that you went into like dream analysis. You went, you talked quite a bit about Ludwig's video. Uh, in a nutshell, you know, because I'll refer to, I'll link the video for those people who want to actually see the entire conversation around it. But in a nutshell, like why, what are you trying to say about big creators and trying to like one up their, their, you know, their last video or their big content? And how did that inform your decision to move from KFC to Ken? Well, first of all, if you want to click back on that video and skip yeah. to the last frame, you'll notice that I'm holding a bottle of Belvedere. So it was a crazy night that night, all right? <laughs> <laughs> and second of all, I just want to say that think about all the top creators like of the last decade, right? Yeah. Cutie Pie, Markiplier, Jacksepticeye. You don't blow up overnight. Like I always used to think of YouTube as something I wanted to do, but I always thought the, the thought of it was so daunting because you have to really like block by block. You have to build your audience from the ground up. But then I discovered this whole like, you know, get one video and blow up era. And I was like, wow, this sounds much easier. I'll do this. And then I did it. And then I was like, well... I didn't really, I didn't really build like the foundation. I didn't really cultivate the audience I kind of wanted, you know what I mean? And so, and I didn't think I was being myself in those videos. I thought I had a lot more to offer. I think that's key. I thought I actually had a lot more to offer. 
And so that's kind of why I started the Ken channel, I guess. And um, I think that people are just blinded these days with the, like you don't go to the gym and instantly become ripped, but that's what everyone wants to do on YouTube. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, you got to yeah. build, you got to build up slowly. It takes time. And so that's why the best advice I can give is enjoy it. You know, sometimes it can be taxing. Sometimes you don't want to do it, but sometimes you got to push through because you know, it's what you want to do. There's goals you want to hit. It's fun. You know, that's the best advice I can give, man. No, I think it's, I think it's great advice, man. And we talk, you know, from time to time about YouTube and, and about content as well. And, and you're always gracious enough to, to give your advice to me. I, you know, I put out a video a couple of days ago Look, about man. like the direction of this channel. And you gave me a, you gave me a few paragraphs, bro, which I really appreciate your, you know, your thought. I remember when I first got some exposure on KFC clash, like I was uploading daily, just like let's plays clash rail, essentially like best deck every day. And I remember you, oh not every day, but I was uploading whenever I uploaded. And then I remember you told me you got to upload every day, man. And this was a while ago. <laughs> And so I started doing that and that's when the 20 win challenge came out in the game. And so my channel got like its first, like literally the first spark of popularity. And from, from that day on, it kind of just like, I just kind of went from there. So you're the OG, man. I got to, I got to thank you for all this. Nah, bro. And, and, and to be clear, I don't think you need to upload every day, but I think that at the time you were like, I want to grow but why am I getting like 8,000 views per video or something? But you were uploading like once every other week or something. And I'm like, dude, just upload. Yeah. But at, th at that point, I remember you were like, dude, it sounded to me like you just want everything to be as close to perfect as possible, right? Like a little bit of a perfectionist. At least that's, the, that's what I remember from that conversation years ago. Uh, and then- I, It's hard to remember, yeah. honestly, but yeah. And now you're talking every day. So my final question about like your channels right now is what goes on the Ken channel now? Like- how do you go from someone who's so concerned about beating the last up, uh, one upping the last video and and putting a lot of thought and a lot of scripting into these videos and a lot of editing into these videos to someone who's comfortable sitting down every day? Do you think of these ideas like the day before? How do you think of your video ideas? I guess. Uh, that's a difficult question. First of all, I want to. I, I can just imagine right now. Hang on, people in the comments are right. He didn't start Hello. Like he's he's a fraud. <laughs> I'm just, so first of all, I'm just going to do that because you know what? You can think whatever you want, but You're gonna I, I love not addressing it. It's just funny. Um, but uh, in terms of title and thumbnails and stuff, I mean, when, when it was first starting to get some attention, I guess, because I went through a period where it was kind of, well, I first started and it wasn't really nothing. There was not, no, not much success. Um, I think I, I, have, I have like a genuine, gen, I have actually privated a lot of the videos, so you probably are not going to see them all. But um, I guess I started with a bit of, um a bit of a thought of what i was going to do the next day when i started taking off but like now it's literally on the day i just decide what i want to do it's really just based on how i'm feeling what feels natural what i want to do um yeah it's really just based gotcha. on the day I, it's not like i have like a master plan with a co content schedule or whatever got you got you got you yeah uh okay i want to actually ask about i think this is the dude I, I'm, this is crusher 21 uh right here i think right there he is all right i want to ask you about this dude uh, so truth be told, I've watched maybe like maybe one or two of his videos. So I'm judging this guy, uh, unfairly, right? I guess maybe, uh, I can tell you one thing from the videos I've seen. Definitely not for me. I think he's meant for a younger demo, but I did notice that this guy, he clearly was very inspired by your content in terms of all of his thumbs, his titles, everything, right? He's like, but, but he also a lot edgier. Like I can, I feel uncomfortable even reading these titles, right? Like, and mm -hmm. I know that you can push the edge too. So maybe you find it like cool and funny or whatever. I don't really want to make it about the controversy of his channel, but like, he's got like this, the last one I'd be like, I don't know, man. Like, it's just not my cup of tea. It's not even like the thumbnails and the titles that are provocative. It's just when you click on the videos, I don't uh, personally, I think it's like super, 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 super over the top. And again, maybe that appeals to a demo, whatever. That whole long ass preamble. What do you think of this dude, Cass? <laughs> Ken? What do you think of this dude? Um, well, yeah, he's DM'd DM me a couple times. Um, I think he said something about like, I was one of the reasons he started or whatever. So that's kind of cool. But um, in terms of like the, the, the racist and the bad stuff, honestly, I think he's a good guy. And I, I think he's just, he wants to just make people laugh, but I think he's just crossing the line. Like the problem is the problem isn't the, um, what he's doing himself. It's just the impact on the people he's making it for. Cause like the people that watch it might be young and easily influenced and they'll probably just be like, Oh, it's okay to be racist. You know, it's okay to act this way. And then they will be that way. And I think that's the problem. You know what I mean? Just the impact it's having. Cause 
it's get, it's it's getting like a lot of views and a lot of people are just like supporting it and thinking it's like it's perfectly acceptable behavior when probably isn't in the real world like it isn't yeah. Yeah, it's not yeah. okay to act and like I, that. So. Yeah, and that's the whole thing is like, listen, dude, I am not, I'm not freaking in the cancel culture, you know, squad at all or anything like that, dude. Like, I'm not. Yeah, I, I can take a joke. The line. Yeah, dude, yeah. And you you made like the whole. Uh, one of my favorite videos you put out was the like uh, the gay month uh, type gay thing, you know. Levels. Yeah, and like I thought that was honestly, I thought that was very like well done because it was like it it's like a comedian right you can talk about anything you want to if there's actually a point to it or whatever now sometimes it's just Game shock value all year <laughs> it's levels baby it's just shock value for shock value i feel like at times you know so yeah maybe maybe he's a good dude and and nothing against him personally but i just had to ask you about him because i mean do you you don't mind the thumbnails right like that that part does it bother you when people copy like that kind of style from you in the same game or no nah Nah, okay. Okay. not anymore. No, okay. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, not really. I mean, maybe I don't know. I like I know Crusher, and like he, he's at least he said like I'm, you know, he, I'm in, I've inspired him a bit. You know, some people yeah, yeah, who yeah, yeah. they won't even follow me on Twitter. They won't act like I'm exist, but they'll like rip off my whole thing, my whole like style, and then nothing so that's yeah, like yeah. kind of not cool but you know it is what it is that's just the game it also is part of success i tell this all the time to creators that we talk to is like dude if people like because people get really upset over someone like stealing not even stealing their content that's that's the wrong way to put it because that's obviously you know not cool but like copying their style like verbatim but it's just like that's going to come with success to anybody you know so that apart like it never really bothered me it's just like you know i don't know anyway Mr. Beast, man, this is what I really wanted to get into here. I don't think you've, this, well, I know you haven't talked much that I know of publicly about this part of your life. I don't know how much I'm going to get out of you because you've been pretty tight lipped, at least publicly about it, right? You worked for Mr. Beast for over a year, I want to say, uh, and you stopped uploading at all. He, th their team, like as part of being on their team, you can't like be uploading on your channel or whatever, at least at the time. So that's, that's what happened. And you're obviously a student of the game. You know, you've, you've had all the success on YouTube. You're, you're like a savant when it comes to making these channels, right? I am the Hollow, best, man. Hollow Hollow being say? the most recent example, the, the channel that you just bought. And so we got Mr. <laughs> we got what? Mr. Beast. We got Mr. Beast. No one believes me. What the fuck? <laughs> you know what? I believed that it was 100% you. And then when you came back 10 minutes later, like, you're in my head about the hollow thing. Then I'm like, oh, man, yeah, I got him. I got him. I got that. He's feeling the heat, I just bro. think it's funny, man. I just think it's heat. funny. <laughs> nah, I'm not going to look. I don't want to lay out the truth <laughs> when I put so many different responses out. You know, I've said it's I the havoc reason. You know, <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Okay. So, Mr. Beast, uh, I want to start out with, like, what was it like? <laughs> um. Yeah, it was good, man. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I actually messaged Jimmy and I was like, um, can I make a video talking about what it was like working there or like what I did? Yeah. And he's kind of said specifically, oh, he kind of was just like, I'd rather probably not, you know, because like a lot of what we do, we would try to keep under wraps. Yep. So. So you were like, like going to Clash with Ash and stare everything instead. Yeah. And he yeah, was like, so yeah, sure. someone yeah. else's channel, yeah. then it's all good. I like that. I like um, that approach and I can respect that from him. Yeah. So <laughs> here's the biggest secret Jimmy told me. No, um, I don't know. I guess. Let me ask you something. Yeah. Yeah. Go. I guess what I can say is the way I got the job was I, my, I, I saw he put like a Twitter post up basically saying something like, we're looking for new people, fill out this form if you want to. So I filled out the form. And I expected nothing, right? It's Mr. Beast tweeting. You fill out his form. You get nothing back. That's standard. And then one of his Discord uh, admins, like on the Mr. Beast gaming server, Mr. Beast gaming was just popping off at this time, just starting to get traction. Uh, one of the Mr. Beast gaming moderators like replied saying, hey, we liked your application. And I think the reason my application stood out is because I just hit 100K on my YouTube channel, KFC Clash. And that was kind of like my resume of my content for him. And so after that, they, um, they gave me a... A, uh, I think uh, an interview to see if I would even be fit, like the the gaming team basically. And then after that, um, they gave me this like quiz, this like test I had to do. I remember on, like, this. My knowledge yeah, yeah, on yeah. YouTube or whatever. So I, I filled that out, and I was just, I was like overthinking. I didn't realize like how much I knew in comparison to the rest of like the world at this point. I'm the best, by the way. Have I mentioned that? And so I fucking I filled this out, and yeah, they liked it. So I got a final interview, and then I remember one day. I um I like check my my discords and they're like we would like to go forwards with like a sixty to ninety day trial period and I was like yes and then I, I remember I was so happy. There's like a few moments in my life where I'm like I've just been so happy. 
Yeah. I think one of them was getting my driver's license. Another one was getting the job at Mr. Beast. And um, they're really special. And so, yeah. And then it went great from there. And I just got promoted like a shit ton in the company to obviously being um, able to talk to Jimmy a lot. And so um, I, I won't say exactly what I did, but yeah, it yeah. was it was great. Um, so, the time I spent, I can't I can't complain. I um, yeah, did you I learn a lot? But, did you did you learn a lot? Um, yeah, I did learn a lot. Um, yeah, I mean, I obviously knew a lot going into it. That's why I got into the position. But I definitely learned a lot of things. Yeah, I would be wrong to say I didn't. Sure. Yeah, were you surprised at how much? I, 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 I guess the answer is probably no after taking all these thorough tests and everything like that and ha having a good idea of who Mr. Beast was. But were you surprised at how much work and thought and energy and, and whatever it may be, collaboration that goes into every single video there? Well, you can kind of see how much work. But yeah. I remember like for the main channel videos, like even to get like a crane for something, you know, they have to call this guy who calls this guy to get it sorted. Like there's a lot of phone calls, getting the props, the resources. There's so many layers and layers. It, just sounds like an absolute hassle and that really struck out to me um yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you obviously he gets like hated for the most bizarre reasons on the internet because it's the internet we all know right? it's stupid we yeah, all know it's it, stupid but like do you think that gets to him like it, knowing him personally do you think that like you know i'm sure everything's different right every nah. situation is different but does he seem like nah, someone right. who just lets it roll off look i don't really i'm not gonna act like i'm his best friend no but, i know but like, like yeah I do not message him at all anymore, but yeah. um, no, he's, he, that wouldn't get to him. No. Got you. No. Do you think that, why did you, I mean, the, the most obvious question here is why did you decide to leave Mr. Beast? I mean, that would be a, to your point, it was one of the happiest moments of your life uh, when you got the job. And yeah, I just, yeah. I, I just, um, and it's Mr. Beast. I want to be a YouTuber <laughs> myself, man. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people's favorite job would be doing what I was doing. And there were people there that are still there. Um, and I, I definitely know I could have been like amazing there, but I would always be like, just that guy at Mr. Beast, you know, I want to be my own thing. You know what I yeah. mean? I only get to live once. Follow your dreams, kids. You only get to live once. You heard it from me first. Ash, back me <laughs> up. I, I, I heard that's true, but like, dude, you're, you're really <laughs> humble and you're really modest. Uh, and people don't realize that best. because, because, because <laughs> of your, you know, because of your layer of, of, uh, whatever the heck humor, right. People don't know this about you, but like, dude, I know from talking to you throughout the years that you don't, you didn't talk about like you, people barely even knew that you worked for Mr. Beast. Right. But like there were other people who worked for Mr. Beast that were tweeting about it, like almost constantly or whatever, or like talking about it a lot, you know, and you were, you just never were about that. You never were like about the cloud game at all in that regard. You were almost like the opposite of that. And the same thing goes for money, like money and fame to me, doesn't seem like it's ever been a massive motivator for you. Success is, but not necessarily money and fame. So, you know, even even like deals at the agency, I think I can hopefully say this, <laughs> but like you pass on a lot of paid opportunity. You could be making a lot more, let me just say, than you are right now, right? <laughs> a lot more, I don't think right? I've accepted one. I just uh, don't like it, man. I, I just don't like, I probably, I'll probably just like, in hindsight, like people look back on this and be like, wow, Ken, Ken turned into such a scumbag. I miss the old Ken, the humble Ken. But I have like, I don't know. I just don't like doing them. I don't think people like watching them and I don't, feel the need to do it like i don't know i'm not very driven by money so at all. yeah so okay so that my my question is is like what what is the future look like for you do you have any goals what does success mean to you man like is it just doing what you love being able to do what you love and being able to afford to survive i want to build an audience man i want to build a community and i want to have fun and i want to be able to do youtube full time i don't like want to be famous or anything i just want to be like you know, have a strong community and like really enjoy what I'm doing and do what I want to do. Not just always have to do clash. I don't want to just be the clash guy. That's never, that's, that's something. Yeah. For me. So the plan right and now if, is to stick with what you, what you're doing basically and just see where it takes you. Look, man, just read, click about on the Ken channel right now. <laughs> what does that yep. say? We can read it. <laughs> Retire, Retire as a winner. As a winner Shit baby. Content. That's, that's your goal. That's your goal. Well, shit content really you, isn't the goal. It's will you ever kind of my, retire, my though? Product. That's the question, right? Look, man, when I feel like I'm a winner, that's when I retire. I actually just added that today for a video. I, I, that was a bit. Yeah, I was going to say it was just shit content for a while, right? It was just shit content. Yeah, yeah. yeah the real right. ones will know. I like that, though. I like that. Okay, so, okay, man, I think that's all the questions I have for you. Is there anything I asked you that I didn't ask you about that I should have? 
I want to ask you, man. I yeah, want to ask, ask anything, you man. what's it. coming next on CWA, man. Well, give the, give the we viewers are, a sneak peek. They're probably like, we don't want to watch Ken. We want to hear from CWA. No, so I think everybody, I. everybody wants to watch Ken. I'm thinking right now of how I'm going to title no. this video. Like he hates Mr. Beast. Now look at him. Oh, Something please like that. Spare maybe, me. <laughs> maybe the, how KFC really feels about Crusher 21. Something like that. You uh, know, uh, no, nah, man. I want to, I don't, I don't know, dude. I mean, we talk about this off, off, off air and I probably rambled enough about it to my audience already, but the truth is, is this is, I don't look at it as a career anymore, the, the channel, you know? So, uh, I just want to do, th talk about things, talk to, to people that I like, that I find interesting, talk about Aww, things thanks, that I like, Ash. talk about things that I, like I like that I found interesting. <laughs> Uh, and that's it, man. That's really it. Like as simple as that. I, I have like some, what, I, well, how do you feel about reaction content? Like, and I'm not talking about like, just for the views. I'm talking about like, you see a video that you really, that really just resonates with you. It might be like comedy. It might be life changing, whatever. Do you feel like it's, it's shitty content to actually just like literally react to that for 10 minutes or whatever? Cause I kind of have a few videos that I want to do that for, but I'm just not sure. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Uh how do you feel about yeah, it? it's actually kind of like a big topic on yeah. like Twitter these days. Like people have been talking about it. I know. Yeah. I've heard someone's people say that it's like, oh, if you're adding enough in your reaction, blah, blah, blah. But I feel like it, if enough people care to watch the reaction from someone, then it's got to be adding some level of value. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? If well, it's somebody. Uh, yeah. In, no, I, like, I mean, I'm with you. I'm leaning towards doing it, man. I'm leaning towards doing it. I know it. some people like well, just want to watch. I know the argument that some people just want to watch a video with someone, right? But it's like, it's not just, it's like, it depends on the person who they're watching with. I mean, the big debate was like, is XQC, you know, the yeah. biggest streamer in the world. He just streams on Twitch and then he's eating his like macaroni and cheese and he's just got like a yeah, yeah. 500 hours like spent video on the screen and he just posts it on YouTube and gets like half a million views. That's probably not okay. Like that's saw, definitely like-, like an Did you see the debate on H3? CNN? Yeah. H3, yeah. uh, I didn't, I didn't see that, but okay. I heard it was happening. Got you. So yeah, like that's the whole, I, yeah, I don't know how I feel about it, but I, I, to your point though, I think that if you add enough to it, I think it, you know, maybe I'm just, you know, have a, a biases towards what I want to do anyway, the, but like, you know, I think what's uh, what XQC was doing with like the macaroni and cheese eating and just like watching and then uploading on YouTube. That's probably, that's like an example of like what you shouldn't do, but I feel like even if you, like you're watching it, but you know, I think anything above macaroni and cheese is honestly pretty good. Like as long as you don't leave the room or you're eating macaroni and cheese, you're probably going to be adding some level of value that makes it worth watching the reaction. I like reaction content. I'm a big fan of it being a thing because I like watching people react. So I think it's just stupid to take away the whole thing. Same. I think a lot of people, most people are just like, they. why would I want that gone? It just seems like a dumb thing that I would not want gone because of the hyper like obscure niche examples. You know, that's just taking the worst of it. And I think that gets like, put on the pedestal too often. I don't like that. Man. No, I, like that. I, 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 no, we're on the same page there. How do you feel about short content and streams? Either of them in your, in your repertoire in your future? Uh, I mean, shorts are so like, look at this now, like yeah. quickly. Yeah. I don't really care for it to be honest at the moment. Same, same. Yeah. I feel like we're the only two people like that, not, not focused on, on short content. I like long content as we can tell here, but yeah. anyway, man, anyway, Hey, we're going to cap it there. Thanks for coming on. Uh, Ken love to have you back. I feel like there's a few things I didn't ask you about that. I will save in the old memory bank. Uh, thanks bro. Appreciate it, man. Let's do it again soon. I love you, Ash. I love, love you, too, you man. Bro. I love you too. All right.